Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you once again how to make a contact sheet, but this time with watermark protection on it. So this is Adobe Bridge and these are the photos that I'm going to be using. I'm just going to drag and hold on to all the ones that I want. Make sure you are in output now. And this is gonna be your canvas, your contact sheet. So these photos are already selected. You hold, click and hold and release them there. So that's everything. You can move things if you'd like and turn things around. So I personally always take away the file extension, which is already not clicked here, but generally it'll start by saying .png or .jpg or whatever it is that you have. Um, I'm going to unclick that because your clients don't need to see that. It's just extra information. Now I can close this. I don't need document anymore. And now the important part is watermark. Right here, you have no watermark selected. That's just the default. So now text watermark, for example, the word sample would show up wherever you place it. Um, it's pretty low, so let's say you put it in the middle. And now it's obstructing more so they can't screenshot, share, or you know whatever with these images. Um, you can change the color, the size, the text, um, the font, I mean. And then you have image watermark here. So my watermark is my logo, it's already on there, but you would select file and then drag on whatever logo or whatever picture you want to obstruct with. I keep mine pretty opaque because if you have it like this, well, what, what are they gonna look at? So you have to bring the opacity down uh, 50 or lower, otherwise they're not going to be able to see clearly. So 50 is good and it's kind of in the way of her face, so I wouldn't be able to choose any of these, you know, so I'm going to bring it to the bottom. Yep, that looks pretty good, bottom corner. And then with the horizontal and vertical margin sliders, you can move everything over a little more precisely. But that is basically it. There you have it. And then you export to PDF and send it over to your clients. So there you have it. That's how you make a watermark protected contact sheet. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what else you'd like to see down in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Bye.